Hi friends, so good to see you again. It's Miss Lillian here and I'm glad we're able to say hello and get to see each other this way even though it's not perfect, it's still great. So we've been talking about um, Jesus and how he suffered on the cross and died and we talked about him being in the tomb and the Holy Spirit, the power of God coming into him and coming back from the dead. And when Jesus did that, he did something very special for us. Have you ever seen, or can you tell me what this is? This is a door and Jesus's love opened the door. And when the door opened, it gave us all people the chance to do amazing things that we could never ever have done before. And this is something that happened for the disciples as well. And today's story, we're gonna talk about a miracle. And what is a miracle? A miracle is something special that only God can do. And then we'll talk about it, okay? So first let's, we're, I'm gonna tell you the story. Here's our story for today. And let me tell you the story and then let's talk about it. So our story today is about this man right here. Now, if you look at him, you'll notice something special. He's laying down. He's not, he's laying down on a cot and two of his friends or his family are carrying him. The reason that was happening is because that man could not walk. And long ago in the days of Jesus, if you couldn't walk, there wasn't wheelchairs around or different things that would help you. You had to depend on friends or family to help you get from place to place. So every day, his friends would carry him to the front of the temple because at the temple, they, people would go there all the time. And if you wanted to get money or something, you'd go to the temple and sit and beg. And that's what that guy would do. He didn't have any money, so he would ask people for money. And in this picture, you could see he has a little bowl there that he's asking people for extra change or something that could help him because he needed to eat and he couldn't work because he couldn't walk. So one day, Peter and John, Jesus's disciples, his friends were coming past the church and the man saw him. And he said to Peter and James, can you help me, please? You got any spare change, something that could help me? And here's Peter and John. And they looked at each other, and then they looked at him. And have you ever had an idea in your head that at the same exact time happens in one of your friend's head, or your mom or dad's head, or your brothers and sisters? Well, that's exactly what happened here. Peter and John had the same idea. And look, they're smiling. They looked at him and they said, you know what? We don't have any money, but what we do have, we're happy to share with you. And they reached towards him and he looked at them and they took his hand and they said, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, get up and walk. Well, you can imagine the unbelievable astonishment that happened on that man's face. And he did, he stood up and all of a sudden the Bible says that his ankles and his legs became strong and he was able to stand up and look at his face. He's so happy. He was like, this is a miracle. It's something only God can do. And the Bible says that he stood up and he started to walk and then he started to jump and he was walking and leaping and praising God and saying, thank you, God, thank you. And when that happened, look, he's jumping and leaping. All the people that were by the church, by the temple, ran to him and to Peter and John, and they recognized him. They said, wait a minute. Isn't that the man that was lame, which means he can't walk? And look at him. He's hopping and jumping and screaming and thanking God. What happened? And then Peter started to tell everybody what had happened. And he said to them, don't be surprised. Don't be surprised that this man is walking and leaping and praising God because Jesus, who you crucified, 
is God. And in the name of Jesus and by the power of Jesus, this man is now walking. And when the people heard it, they were like, Jesus really was the Son of God. Jesus really has power in his name. And they all started praising God together. And the people that started to understand who Jesus was and understand what he had done, they also became Jesus' friends. They invited Jesus into their heart. And because they did, guess what? The door was open to them to be able to do much, much more. You know, when you're having a bad day or when you don't feel good, there is a power within you, which is the power of the Holy Spirit, that you can ask God to help you to do something amazing, to do a miracle, which is something special that only God can do. God loves us so, so much. And there's so many more things to know about being his friend and so many more things that God wants to do to help us and to help us know him and how much he loves us. So we're going to do our memory verse. Our memory verse today, we have here a heart with a happy person. We have a crown and that's for thanks because it says in, with thanksgiving, pray. So, and here's a crown, and crown is for the Lord. Because every time we see the crown, usually it's for God or Jesus or the Lord. And here's a thumbs up. He's good. And here's a heart for love. And here's the Bible. Because our memory verse today is found in the Bible, which is in the book of Psalms, chapter 107 and verse 1. And it says, Give thanks to the Lord, for He is good. His love endures forever. Give thanks to the Lord, for He is good, and His love endures forever. Give thanks to who? The Lord. Why? Because He is good, and His love, does it end tomorrow? No, it lasts forever. Let's do it one more time. Give thanks to the Lord, for He is good, and His love endures forever. God's love never ends. It never quits. It never goes to bed. It's never tired. It's always there when we need it. And God waits for you to ask him so that he can help you, so that he can make you feel better if you feel sick, so that he can help you with friends when you're having an argument. There's so many ways that God wants to help you. And it's so wonderful that he wants to. So here's our coloring page for today. And here you see the man. Look at his legs. It's kind of strange because he couldn't walk. He was lame, which means he couldn't walk. And here's Peter and John. And they're on their way. And look, Peter's just helping him stand up. And he, what did he say? He said, in the name of Jesus, stand up and walk. And he did. So we can color these. Well, look, there's a little boy with the goat. How cute. But this was right outside of the temple, and the temple had different gates, and this was in front of the gate called Beautiful. And then we have one more thing that's going to come in your package that gets emailed to your parents. Here is this funny man, and he has funny legs that help him to hop and jump. Just like the man in our story, he was hopping and leaping and praising God. There's a song, I don't know, it's a very old song that I learned when I was a little girl. And it says, Peter and John went to pray. They met a lame man on the way. He put out his palm and asked for an alm. And this is what Peter did say. Silver and gold have I none, but such as I have give I thee in the name of of Jesus Christ. I ask you stand up and walk and walking and leaping and praising God, walking and leaping and praising God in the name of Jesus Christ. Stand up and walk. So this is something that you can make. Now the way you make this is you take a piece of paper and you fold it like this, like this, like this. 
And you keep folding it back and forth, and that makes his legs jumpy like that. And you can draw two eyes, or if you have googly eyes, you can put eyes on here. And this is something your parents can print that we're sending to you. And it says, a miracle is something wonderful only God can do. And then I wanted to show you one more thing. So here's money. And when it says in that song or in the Bible, alms, alms is another word for money. So the man had alms and he would ask and he would collect them at the end of the day. And he was very poor. But so the man had a choice. He didn't even know, which is so wonderful to me about this story, that God helped that man even though he wasn't expecting to be helped that way. And a lot of times that's what God does for us. We're expecting one thing, which was money in this case for the man, but God gives us something better and more, which is what happened. He received a healing, a miracle, which is only something God can do. So today, it's so wonderful to be with you again. I hope you're having a good time with your family, with your friends. I hope all is well with you. I really miss you, and I really can't wait to see you. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.